And that's right, Charlotte, and they are upset. They believe police did not have to shoot this woman. They say as a mother of three and a new grandmother, the chief tells a different story. Inside this Saturday morning crime scene is where police say officers encountered an armed woman also in uniform. Obviously, there are a lot of things that we really have to get to the bottom of. Police say when they arrived, they found one woman shot in the arm and another woman who they believe shot her wearing a special police officer uniform. But police say she was not a special police officer. SPOs are security guards sometimes authorized to carry a gun in the district. Police say the woman was armed and breaking windows at someone else's home. We're not exactly sure why that was. Uh, but again, uh, this is a very fluid investigation. That's when the police chief says officers ordered the woman in uniform to drop her gun and get on the ground. And she refused, they say. That female uh, was acting erratically. Uh, ultimately, the person in this uh, special police officer's uniform was shot by a metropolitan uh, police officer. The woman in uniform died at the scene. Police say the name on her uniform was not her own. We're trying to work through that and, and really understand why that is. We recently understand that she recently started uh, employment with, an, uh, with a special police officer company, with a security company, so we have a little work to do in that space to figure out you know, what's, what's going on there. Police say the woman shot in the arm should survive, and they believe the two women knew each other. A family member of the woman shot who was in uniform and killed by police told me he plans to file a complaint with MPD because the family does not believe the police account of what happened. They did not want to talk about the uniform or what may have led up to the shooting. Charla. And again, this is just the latest in a series of shootings over the past 24 hours right here in the district. All right, Casey, thank you.